Hello again, YouTube, and I'm back with another video. And here I show a TED unit, uh, I mean, uh, or actually a tablet that's uh, showing a uh, power display from a from what my TED unit. And on this power display, you can see that I have uh, over five kilowatts coming from the utility because I'm running the dryer, and I have uh, 830 watts coming in from my solar array. And this is in response to a question uh, that one of the viewers posed when he was looking at uh, this thing here. And if you look right here, this says that I'm pushing 247 volts at 3.43 amps and uh, 823 watts uh, coming, or uh, you know, around about that, that coming, actually, uh, coming in from the solar array. And if you look here, it's uh, 9.43 in the morning. So, you know, to answer the question, you know, there was a con uh, just a question that said, hey, you know, when you did the math between the, uh, the voltage and the amps, you know, the, the power rating just didn't, it was like 140 watts or something like that. Um, and, but as far as you do the math, but if it's, you know, the, the uh, actual rating here was like 2.3 or 2.4 watts or something like that. And I would expect it at night to be that way. That's what it was. It was at night. And this, this, this right here, because the, you know, it's obviously not pushing, you know, pulling any, uh, any, uh, any power coming from the micro grid tie inverters at night, then the, that, those 2.3 or 2.6 watts or whatever, that I can only conclude that that was the synchronization uh, signals. Uh, power signals coming from the grid tie inverters to the inverter charger through this particular load center. So as you can see right here, this is these are the output circuits from the uh, inverter charger. These are the input circuits that come in from the grid tie inverter, and they kind of they meet here. And also there is a separate circuit for my TED unit, um, uh, so that I could you know measure. Um, uh, power, you know, coming in from from the grid tie inverters. So there's a synchronization here. So I wouldn't expect them, to, you know, it would to show 100 and something watts. But my guess is, as far as the amps go, is because again they're commingling. Um, you know, so I'm I'm guessing that 100 and and something watts was coming from the inverter charger, not the grid tie inverters themselves. Now, with that being said, now I in this particular uh, setup here you know this is not a I guess a traditional uh, type setup uh, this particular setup is an AC couple setup and again I'm having to utilize you know put things together to kind of you know give me some power readings uh, that I could you know use to uh, to understand what my system is doing at any given time so now looking at this right here, it's 246. If you multiply that, then that number is not gonna come up with this particular number. It's gonna be a little higher, I believe. But anyway, you know, it kind of, you know, again, it kind of, this right here kind of gives me an idea of what I'm making. Um, as far as the accurate, is it pinpoint accurate? Hey, I bought this off eBay and you know, it, you know, I, I don't think it's gonna be pinpoint accurate, but it, it's darn close. Uh, because it's like right now it's saying it's it's uh, uh you know 830 watts and if i go back here to my you know my ted display you'll see that it's 838 watts so you know they're off by eight uh you know eight watts um so and again this is you know i would like to say that this is real time and this actually there there has a there is a, de a delay at least a little bit of a delay uh, between, you know, hey, you know, the unit, the TED unit uh, has to transmit the information to a gateway and the gateway has to transmit the information over my Wi-Fi uh, so that I can actually uh, get the information on this particular screen. So you see here I'm at, in, you know, it's, it's uh, 9.47 in the morning and, you know, my uh, power is climbing. It's 840, um, 840 watts. And this right here is climbing proportionally. So this is eight, 832. So again, it's about eight watts off uh, between these two. Um, so, you know, is it dead pinpoint accurate? No. However, is it close? Yes. I do say it is close uh, because we have, and the TED unit here, you know, again, it's on the same circuit. So this is monitoring the circuit coming in 
And this is also monitoring the circuit coming in as far as power, for, as far as the TED is concerned. So again, they're, they're pretty close, real close, 833. And if you look here, you can see that uh, it's 842 uh, as far as watts. And the utility, right now I got the, um, the, uh, the dryer on and you can see it'll fluctuate. It'll, you know, when the thermostat reaches a certain point, it'll kick on, it'll kick off, it'll cycle. And you can see here that I'm, you know, pushing, it's a negative 102. So 102 watts is going backwards into the grid, okay? So anyway, just a little response, a video response to a question for those folks that may be wondering, hey, you know, this thing's not dead point, and, and it's not, okay? It is it's not, it is not like, you know, dead, you know, scientifically, you know, dead, you know, dead true. It's close though. It's it, it gives me a it gives me a close approximation so that I can get a, a a very good idea of what my system is producing, and I'm okay with that. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot, YouTube. Take care.